As a medical professional, I'd be happy to provide a detailed explanation of neonatal conditions and their causes. Neonatal conditions refer to health issues and disorders that affect newborn babies during the first 28 days of life, also known as the neonatal period. This period is crucial as newborns are transitioning from the protected environment of the womb to the outside world, and they are particularly vulnerable to various health challenges. Children face the highest risk of dying in their first month of life at an average global rate of 18 deaths per 1,000 live births in 2021, down by 51% from 37 deaths per 1,000 live births in 1990. In comparison, the probability of dying after the first month and before reaching age 1 was estimated at 11 deaths per 1,000 and the probability of dying after reaching age 1 and before reaching age 5 was estimated at 10 deaths per 1,000 in 2021. Globally, 2.3 million children died in the first month of life in 2021, approximately 6,400 neonatal deaths every day. According to UNICEF data, there are various types of neonatal conditions, ranging from mild and transient issues to more severe and life-threatening conditions. Some of the common neonatal conditions include Respiratory Distress Syndrome RDS. This condition occurs primarily in premature infants and is caused by the insufficient production of a substance called surfactant in the lungs. Surfactant is essential for maintaining the lungs' elasticity and preventing them from collapsing during breathing. Jaundice. Neonatal jaundice is a condition characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes due to the accumulation of bilirubin, a yellow pigment formed during the breakdown of red blood cells. It is usually a transient and benign condition, but in some cases, it may require treatment to prevent complications. Infections. Newborns have an immature immune system, making them susceptible to various infections. Common neonatal infections include sepsis, pneumonia, urinary tract infections, and meningitis. Congenital heart defects, these are structural abnormalities in the heart that are present at birth. They can range from minor issues with little or no impact on health to severe defects requiring immediate medical intervention. Neonatal hypoglycemia, this occurs when a newborn's blood sugar levels are too low, leading to symptoms such as jitteriness, poor feeding, and lethargy. It is more common in infants born to diabetic mothers or those who are small or premature. Neonatal hypothermia, Newborns are more susceptible to temperature fluctuations and may experience hypothermia if they are not adequately protected from cold environments. Neonatal sepsis, this is a severe bacterial infection that can quickly progress and become life-threatening. It often occurs due to exposure to bacteria during birth or through contact with infected individuals. Neonatal abstinence syndrome, NAS, NAS occurs in babies born to mothers who use drugs or certain medications during pregnancy. These infants can experience withdrawal symptoms after birth. Causes of neonatal conditions. The causes of neonatal conditions can be multifactorial and complex. Some of the common causes include premature birth. Babies born before 37 weeks of gestation are at higher risk for various complications due to their underdeveloped organs and systems. Maternal health issues. Certain maternal health conditions, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, infections, and substance abuse, can contribute to neonatal problems. Genetic and chromosomal abnormalities. Some neonatal conditions result from genetic or chromosomal abnormalities inherited from parents. Infections. Infections acquired during pregnancy, labor, or after birth can affect the newborn's health. Environmental factors. Factors like poor nutrition, exposure to toxins, and inadequate prenatal care can impact neonatal health. Birth trauma, difficult or traumatic deliveries can lead to various neonatal issues. Inadequate neonatal care, the quality of neonatal care provided after birth plays a significant role in determining the baby's health outcomes. As a medical professional, I must emphasize that neonatal conditions require prompt medical evaluation and intervention by trained healthcare providers. Natural remedies should not replace medical treatment, especially in critical situations. However, there are some general practices that can support newborn health and possibly prevent certain conditions. Prenatal care, ensuring regular prenatal checkups with healthcare providers during pregnancy is crucial. Early detection and management of maternal health issues can significantly reduce the risk of neonatal complications. Healthy diet, proper nutrition during pregnancy is essential for fetal development. A balanced diet rich in vitamins, minerals, and nutrients supports the baby's growth and reduces the likelihood of certain neonatal conditions. Avoiding harmful substances. Pregnant women should avoid alcohol, tobacco, illicit drugs, and unnecessary medications not prescribed by a healthcare provider. These substances can harm the developing fetus and increase the risk of neonatal complications. Breastfeeding. 
Breast milk provides essential nutrients and antibodies that can boost a newborn's immune system and protect against infections. Exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life is recommended. Skin-to-skin -skin contact, kangaroo care. Skin-to-skin -skin contact between the mother, or caregiver, and the newborn promotes bonding, regulates the baby's body temperature, and helps stabilize their heart rate and breathing. Proper hygiene, maintaining a clean and hygienic environment during childbirth and afterward can reduce the risk of infections in the newborn. Vaccinations, ensuring that the mother is up to date with vaccinations can provide passive immunity to the baby during the early weeks of life. Following the recommended vaccination schedule for the baby can protect against vaccine-preventable diseases. Avoid overheating or hypothermia. Keeping the newborn at an appropriate and comfortable temperature is essential. Avoid exposing the baby to extreme cold or heat. Avoid exposure to sick individuals. Limiting contact with individuals who are sick or have contagious illnesses can help prevent infections in newborns. Safe sleep practices. Placing the baby on their back to sleep and providing a safe sleep environment reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. Remember, while these natural practices can support newborn health, they are not a substitute for medical care. If any concerns arise about a newborn's health, it is crucial to seek professional medical advice and evaluation promptly. Neonatal conditions can be complex and require specialized medical attention for proper diagnosis and treatment. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey towards a healthier and happier life. Don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and